Good morning. I'm Nisha. I'm, um, I have a page, Architique by Nisha Myers, where I paint furniture and I go to estate sales and I find vintage finds and I sell them in my booth at two different antique malls in Wichita Falls. Um, that's in Texas. So I wanted to show you guys this morning how I repair um, corners, pieces on the furniture, pieces on the wood furniture that might be missing, where there might be some chipped veneer, um, or you might have a corner broken off, uh, you know, issues like that. So if you are watching me this morning, thank you so much and good morning. And I would love for you to share this video. If you have, if you know of anyone who does any um, painting on furniture or repairing furniture, or if they're just looking to start, if they um, are kind of researching, they have they have a, a dresser, it's in their garage, it's kind of janky. Um, that's one of uh, Christine's with She Paints. Uh, Kristen, sorry, sorry Kristen, I don't know why I called you Christine. Kristen with She Paints, she uses the word janky fabulous all the time, and so I love the word janky. So anyway, if you know somebody who has a piece of furniture that has some, some problems, some blemishes, um, share this video with them so they can see how they can fix it before they paint it. Hi, Vicki, good morning. <laughs> um, let me, okay, sorry, I got distracted by reading. Hi, Lilani, I missed you, missed your face. I'm glad you're on here watching me. I just love you to death. Um, so what I'm using is a product called, I hope you can read this, I'm gonna try to get it really close. Um, Quick Wood. It is by JB Weld, and I bought this locally um, at the hardware store, but I do believe it's on Amazon, and so I can put a link um, for the Amazon. Guys, I have had strep throat, and then I was feeling better on Friday and Saturday, so I got to go and um, to a painting class on Saturday, and Yesterday, my throat, I've been on antibiotics, I've been taking them, I promise, I haven't skipped. Yesterday, my throat started hurting again and getting more sinusy. like um, I don't know if it's residual, but um, anyway, so I'm drinking hot tea, so excuse me for a second. And just to help, because it's really scratchy and irritated. So, let me get to, um, hi mom. Let me get to business here because I know not everybody wants to sit here and just watch me talk about my sore throat. So, this is the piece that I'm gonna show you first. And I already applied, gosh, I hope you can see that, yeah, right there. It had the corner missing. So I already applied the JB, the JB Weld Quick Wood. So let me show you um, what you do. It comes in this little tube and so, you kind of have to beat it to get it out. So what it is, is it's this little putty. And, oh, you can't see from that side. Comes in this wrapper. You take the wrapper. And can you see how it's two different colors? The inside is a white and the outside is a tan. You just cut off um, a very, very, very small piece. And I use a knife that I use for my um, crafting. It's like dedicated to crafting. And you're gonna wanna wash your knife or tool, whatever you used for cutting um, pretty quickly so this stuff doesn't harden on it. But I use the knife to just slice off a very small piece and then you just start kneading it and you knead it and knead it and knead it together until it's all mixed in all the same color. And then you apply it to wherever you need it. So um, that's what I've done here and this is dried for 24 hours. And what I'm gonna do is I just have a piece of um, sandpaper, it's 80 grit. It's really, really rough. So I'm gonna start by um, smoothing it out with this 80 grit. I build it up just a little bit higher than the furniture so that I can um, then take it back down a little bit with my um, sandpaper. So I start with the 80 grit or higher grit. The um, smaller the number on sandpaper means the coarser it is. So, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. My light is really, really, let me turn the light down a little bit. Oh, maybe that helps, but then maybe that makes it worse. Um, so 
I'm just going to sand this down where I added it onto the corner to make it flush with the wood. I don't know if anyone saw my Facebook post yesterday that we were um, stuck here at the house when it rains a lot north of us. Not necessarily when it rains a lot here at my house, but it, when it rains a lot north of us. The um, creek floods and overflows and comes into our yard and it traps us in. It covers the entire, all the, we have a low bridge and a high bridge. The high bridge is, oh gosh, I don't know how tall it is. But the water even goes over the tall bridge. Covers the low bridge really quickly. Goes over the high bridge and we can't get out. The whole road, it looks like a lake. And we're on a little island. So yesterday, that's what we did. We didn't go anywhere. We couldn't go to church. We couldn't go anywhere. Luckily, it went down. So Jeff could go to work today. <laughs> Lucky him. He gets to go to work. Um... So now I'm going, I've got this smooth down, knocked down. Let's see if you can see. Okay. And now I'm going to go over it with a smoother sanding block. Just to get it nice and smooth. Okay. So this is a smooth finish now, and it is ready to be primed or painted or or whatever you're gonna do with it. So let me see. See that? Sorry. I would take my, my camera is on the tripod or I could take it down and move it. So that's drawer number one. And I have hold on a second. I have another drawer. This is a drawer from our nightstands in our master bedroom. I painted them if you can see the color um, many years ago and that corner this corner right here got knocked off the last time we moved which has been five years so for five years this little corner has been shipped well when I was putting the quick wood on the purple dresser drawer I had some left over I had mixed too much so I thought I'm going to fix that drawer. Nobody ever has seen it. Nobody's ever noticed it, but I knew it was broken. So um, I went ahead at the same time that I put the quick wood on the purple drawer. I did it on this drawer. And I didn't do as nice of a job on this one getting it built up. So I'm going to show you what to do if, if that's the case and you don't build it up as nicely. Let's see if you can see how it's kind of... I'll get close. Um, you see those holes? It looks like holes. They're kind of like divots. That's where I didn't have it built up as nicely. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do there, but first I'm gonna smooth it down, even with the drawer. If you're watching me, can you say hello? Maybe tell me where you're watching from. Tell me if you've been having tons of rain. We have more rain forecasted today and tomorrow. So if we get a since the ground is already saturated, the creek is already full, if we get a couple more inches, we'll probably be trapped in again. We just have to make sure that we know a little bit in advance so we can make sure we have enough groceries to make it through our Netflix binge. <laughs> Smoothing this, and then of course I'll have to touch up the paint. And I'm gonna have to remember because I didn't paint this five years ago; it got broken five years ago. I'm gonna have to remember I painted it probably seven years ago. Um, I'm gonna have to remember the colors I painted so I can touch it up. is not as um, smooth as the purple one because I didn't build it up as much. So 
what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see this. Let me smooth it a little bit like this. I'm going to smooth it with the um, finer grade sanding block. Okay, so let me show you. Hi, Lisa. Smyrna, Georgia. It's hot here. I am, I'm sweating. I don't usually um, get hot in the house, but maybe it's because I've got this light ring on me and I'm doing a live that I'm all nervous and hot. Um, oh, the product I used is JB Weld Quickwood, and I'm going to put a link to where you can find it on um, Amazon. Can you see that? And it is just an epoxy. It has two parts. I'll show you real quick. And the middle is white and the outside is tan. So you just cut off the amount you're going to use and then you just knead it all together, mix all that together until it's one solid color. And then it, it hardens really well and um, it's not going to break off your piece. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. You're a pretty girl too. Okay, so this is the drawer that I didn't build it up as much. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see where in the middle it's like a little more yellow? That is where it isn't sticking up as far as it needs to. So what I'm going to do is just use some wood filler. And I use this Elmer's wood filler. Let me caution you. Do not get a huge tub of it because it's going to harden on you before you can use it all. Get a small tub. So don't do what I did. So I'm just going to pull a little bit of this out, just a tiny, tiny, tiny piece. Can you see that? Tiny piece. And I'm going to fill in the little divots that I missed on my quick wood. And this piece, I'm not as concerned about it as being as perfect um, because it's a piece for my own house that I know that I'll never get rid of. These nightstands were a bedroom suit. Um, from my great great aunt's house that my mother got when um, my aunt passed away so I'm gonna keep them forever I don't plan on ever um, letting them go so I'm not as picky with them but I do want to get it um, repaired so this I'm just using baby wipes to wipe the wood filler off my hands so this is gonna have to sit and dry before I can sand it down and paint it anymore Hi, Dion. I'm so glad you're watching me. So you're probably super busy. You probably have a million things to do. So I'm really, I really appreciate you watching me. So this is wood filler over, let me try to, now the yellow is the wood filler. The white is the quick wood that is dried. The yellow is the wood filler. So it's going to be nice and smooth when I, um, when it's finished, when it's hard. And I just, I'm going to barely sand it with a very fine grade, um, sanding sponge and then it'll be ready to touch up and paint so hi Belinda I'm glad you're watching um so to recap what I've been doing is I had two dresser drawers where the edges have been knocked off and I'm using the JB Weld Quickwood to um it's hard for me I'm sorry the quick JB Weld Quickwood to repair it's an epoxy it's two parts um, that you mix together it's like a putty I mix them together and you smooth it over your broken edges and you try to build it up just a little bit so that you can sand it back where it is even with um, oh my gosh Dion I am nervous because you're watching me <laughs> um, let's see who asked that question I'm gonna okay Lisa why wouldn't you just use plastic wood or wood filler to begin with okay because these were really deep gouges on this um, on the nightstand drawer like that whole piece was missing that whole edge so there was nothing to build and to put the wood filler um, on to build it up onto so I had to create a whole new edge <laughs> I know she's amazing Michelle hi Deborah so anyway that's why I'm using the this epoxy putty because I didn't have anything to build it onto because the whole edge was missing. It's also, um, I feel like it's gonna dry a lot harder than wood filler would on a, on a corner like that and it's not gonna break off and so somebody takes a hammer and, and breaks it or is um, not careful when they're moving it like somebody's husband was and it breaks off. So you're welcome. Hi, Wendy. Um, so, 
My voice is really scratchy. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a quick drink. Hold on a second. I'm still recovering from the sore throat, and it's. I probably don't need to talk anymore the rest of the day to kind of rest it. Yeah, Belinda, I, I try not to buy furniture that needs to be repaired. Hi, Wendy. But um, I also try to get the furniture at a good enough price that I can make a profit because we all know when you paint furniture, sometimes you don't make minimum wage once if you do a lot of repairs and have to do a lot of prep work. You don't even make minimum wage once it sells. So I try to avoid that, but when it's sometimes when it's a really good deal, I just can't pass it up. Or a really cool piece of furniture, I can't pass it up. So um, that's when I have to get out all these things, things to fix it with. So and these were too um, too damaged to just use wood filler on them because they were completely broken off. So I had to I had to like create edges. Um, to the to the wood so yeah you've got to you've got to get it at a bargain price um, <laughs> to make any kind of profit and that's I mean I do enjoy it but gosh guys we're here to make a profit right we have to um, feed our families pay our bills so um, so that's what we're doing so I just I'll, I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys um, kind of see the process I use I I want to caution you also when you're buying furniture I know some I, I think Dion has said that she does not buy furniture that's already been painted because you don't know what's under it and what you're working with and it's gonna take a lot more prep work um, I probably shouldn't have brought bought this purple dresser but I just I loved it, it was so tall it has so many drawers it's just a unique piece but it's been a lot of work and um, I'm gonna have to be more careful in the future because not only is it a lot of work, which I don't mind hard work, but it sat in my workroom taking up all the space and I was kind of stuck on it and I'm like, oh, I don't want to go, oh, I don't want to go sand on that piece. I don't want to go blah, 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 blah. Um, so it took up the room for um, where I could be working on another piece. Do you know what I'm, do you know what I'm saying? So it kind of um, stalled out my whole work life uh, for a whole week. So, um, my dog chewed up on the ball off it. Yes, yes, that is what I've done before. I've used this to um, build up feet. Now, you know what else I've used before that is a little, it's stinkier, and it's more has more chemicals, but it works well, is Bondo um, for automotive, and you can find that at Walmart. That's where I bought it in the automotive department. I think it's pink. It has a red and white can, I believe, but it's pink substance. So when you're doing a great big job, I've used Bondo before. Like you're recre recreating a whole knob leg. Um, yeah, I've used Bondo before. And then filled in with wood filler and any little divots that I couldn't um, smooth. Now, Quita at All Shabbed Out, she painted a beautiful, I don't know if y'all saw it, that pink. Um, and it's hard to call it pink because she has all these beautiful other colors mixed in, but when I see it, I saw the main colors pink, so I call it pink. Pink Vanity, and she explained, I'm so sorry. She explained how she had had it from when she very first started painting furniture, and she's loved it, and it had a piece of the foot missing, and she decided she was just gonna paint it and accept its flaws, and it turned out gorgeous. Um, I, see, I see the foot, you know the leg that's messed up doesn't bother me I would put that piece in my home and cherish it I mean it was gorgeous and it just I mean aren't we are we're all flawed so um, I love that Quita took that idea that we're all flawed and um, but we're all still valuable the way we are so that's kind of what I took from that piece um, hi Margie I'm glad you're watching me I, I love you I was so happy to meet you you're you're um, awesome so, uh, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> I guess, guys, I'm going to go, my throat is really irritating me. I'm going to go and rest it and get up the nerve to go and finish this purple piece. So, I probably should just say it right now that I need to have this piece finished by Thursday. I work my um, out-of-the-house job. I'm a personal assistant. I work that job on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So I don't know if I will get this, I'm not gonna say stupid, that's not a nice word, 
a silly, 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 a tall, tall seven drawer dresser that I probably shouldn't bought because of all the prep work it needs. I'm gonna go and I'm working on that and I'm gonna tell you guys that I'm gonna have pictures of it on um, by Thursday. So maybe that will hold me accountable. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Wendy. I'm, I'm going to, I'm gonna go um, rest my voice. And guys, please do me a favor and share this video if you think it's valuable to anybody who needs to know how to repair um, broken corners or big pieces of veneer that are missing. <laughs> That's good, Mom, I'll make that sign. Okay, guys, um, I, I love you. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for the comments and the hearts. And I hope you all go and have a, a great Monday and do something um, that makes yourself proud. Proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself, guys. Bye-bye.